Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number two, looking at operations and relations of sets. In this video, we're checking out what are functions in set theory. Now, just as domains and ranges in set theory are very similar to algebraic domains and ranges of algebraic equations, functions in set theory are also similar to algebraic functions. Functions, also known as mappings, are a special kind of relation. They are relations where every member of the domain corresponds with only one member of the range. So let's be clear. Every member of the domain corresponds with only one member of the range. But multiple, but one member of the range may correspond with multiple members of the domain. Let's see what this looks like. So the relation x is exactly one less than y would be a function since for any number x there's never more than one number which is exactly one greater than it. Members of this class would include 1, 2, 2, 3, 101, 102, etc. The relation x is the product of y and 0 is not a function, since 1 times 0 equals 0, but so does 2 times 0. There are many y's which fit with the same x. Since there are multiple y's for a given x, it is not a function. Members of the relation would include 0, 1, 0, 4, etc. The domain of this relation is only zero, but it has a wide-ranging range, and so it's not a function. Note that multiple domain values can map onto a single range. For example, if the relation is x has the biological mother y, each person has only one biological mother, so it is a function. But mothers may have more than one child, so multiple x's may map onto the same why? This is not a problem. However, the relation x is the biological mother of y is not a function since multiple children may have the same biological mother. So to be clear, where x is the child having a mother, and multiple children can have the same mother, and the child is the in the domain, the first half of the relation, it's fine to be a function. But when x is the mother, since that can map onto multiple people, the domain is a single person, but the range has multiple options for each individual person, that's not a function. And we'll see why in just a second. The reason that we want this feature is so that we make, can make functions of a given element of a domain, where if f is a function, i.e. a relation where all members of the domain map onto at most one member of the range, we can define f of a as the member of f's range that is paired with a. And there's always only going to be one value that that spits out. It might be the same value as something else you put into that function, but there's always only going to be one value that gets spit out of that. So it's always defined as just one thing. Therefore, if we define f as the class of ordered pairs x, y, such that the relation x has y for a biological mother holds for all members, then f of Jane is simply equivalent to the mother of Jane. It identifies one individual. But if we had switched that around, Jane's mother might have multiple children. And so the child of someone isn't going to be a function because it maps onto multiple people. Or in other words, f of x equals y. So if this doesn't make sense, here's another way to think of it. Think of a function as a machine that matches an input to an output using a set of rules. Each input always gives the same output but different inputs can end up giving the same output. Each input must match only one output, because otherwise we would not know what we're going to get when we put something in, and we always follow kind of the same rational set of rules. So think of it like this. Our function is the machine, the class of the ordered pair a, b, the ordered pair 1, 10, the ordered pair red, blue, and the ordered pair 3, b. 
when I put A into this machine, I get out B because the function of A, the value A is paired with, is B. So the function of A is B. When I put 1 into the machine, I get out 10 because the function of 1 is 10 or the value that is paired with 1 in the ordered pair within the function is 10. When I put red into the machine, I get out blue because f of red is blue. And when I put 3 into the machine, I get out b because f of 3 is b. Hopefully this is clear why the inputs, the domain, can only match with one range. Because if I had two values that a matched with, then I wouldn't know when I put the a into the machine what would be spit out. We use several terms when speaking about functions. If the domain of a function f is a, we say that f is from class a. If a class b includes the range of f, we will say that f is from class a into class b. If class c is identical with the range of f, we would say that f is from class a onto class c. And we're gonna get into more of this when we talk about injection, surjection, and bijection. The symbol f of a is often a referred to as f applied to a. We'll generally use the letters f, g, h, etc. to refer to functions, but we'll be explicit when we're using a fun when using a function needs to be distinguished from a class or a relation using the predicate f, i.e. f, g means that g is a function. Now, for two formal definitions. First, the definition of a function, where f of g means that g is a function. So for all g, for all classes g, g is a function means by definition that g is a subclass of the universal Cartesian product or the Cartesian product of the universal class in itself. And for all b and all c, b c is a member of g implies that for all d, b d is a member of G is materially equivalent to D is equal to C. So basically what we're saying is for all pairs of ordered pairs, for all ordered pairs that are members of G, if they're for the range, there's only one value for the range. For the range, for all of those C that could possibly fit after B, for all d that also fit after b, there all those d are identical to that original c. Hopefully that makes some sense. We're going to call this function definition in proofs. We also need a second definition for exactly what a function of a particular class is. We're going to use call this for all f, for all a, for all b. a is equal to f of b means by definition that b a is a member of f. So if we want to say f of b equals a, or the function applied, function f applied to b is a, that means that one of the members of f is the ordered pair b, a. We'll call this function application definition in proofs. Whew, that was a good one. Up next, we'll look at what is bijection. Stay tuned for a brand new video every single day for the whole month of October here with Carneades.org on the six months of set theory. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to stay up on these videos and if you like this content and want to make sure you don't miss any of the six months of set theory. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.